I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on perpendicular lines. In this series, we will be sharing with you some excellent examples. One of them is to find the circumcenter, which we are going to understand in this particular video. The question here is, given a triangle with vertices A minus 2 minus 3, B minus 1, 0 and C 7, 6, find the circumcenter of the triangle ABC. Now what is circumcenter? Circumcenter is a point from where you can actually draw a circle so that the circle touches all these vertices, right? So that is circumcenter. So a point inside the circle, it could be on the right triangle, also one of the sides, but most of the time it is something like this, right? So we are looking for a point which is same distance from each vertex. The idea is to draw a circle and that point is called circumcenter. Now how do we find coordinates of this point? So let's say this point is P for us. How do we find coordinates of this point P? Well in our case we are given the vertices A which is minus 2 minus 3. Let's say this is B, which is minus 1, 0, and this is C, which is 7, 6. Circumcenter you can get by intersection of perpendicular bisector. So let's understand this part. So circumcenter means We are looking for a point which is intersection of right bisectors. Okay, so, so we'll do right bisectors of AC and BC. So we'll just find the right bisector of AC first. To find the right bisector of AC, first step should be to find the midpoint right so let's say this midpoint is uh, any letter let's say s let's find this midpoint s so the point s will be what will be the x coordinates will be average of 7 and minus 2 divided by 2 the y coordinates will be average of y values which is 6 minus 3 divided by 2 right so so that is equal to 7 minus 2 is 5, so we get 5 over 2. 6 minus 3 is 3, so we get 3 over 2. So the midpoints for S are 5 over 2 and 3 over 2. Now, the next step here is to find slope of line AC, right? So let's find slope of line AC. Slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 6 minus minus 3 divided by 7 minus minus 2. So that gives you 9 over 9, which is 1. So that is the slope. Now, right bisector means this line will be at right angles, correct? So the slope of P to S is negative reciprocal, has to be minus 1. So what is the equation of PS? So let's look into the line, which is right bisector of AC, which will be line PS, right? So we could write this line in the form of, uh, we can say Y minus Y1 equals to M times X minus X1. That is the form which we are going to use, right? So, so we get Y minus, it is going through the point S, whose Y coordinate is 3 over 2. 3 over 2 equals to slope of negative 1, so negative, times x minus the x value, which is 5 by 2. Okay. Now, to simplify what we can do, well, we can open the bracket, brings the things together, right? That'll be good. So, if I open the bracket, I get y minus Let's bring this term 3 by 2 to the right side. 
okay and this minus x to the left side so i'll write y plus x equals to this minus minus becomes plus 5 over 2 that also goes to this side plus 3 over 2 is it okay so so on the right side we get 5 plus 3 is 8 8 over 2 is 4 so we get one equation which is y plus x equals to 4 correct so we get one equation which is the equation of this line p to s now let's find the equation which is right bisector of bc so again the first step for us to find the point let's say t the midpoint so the midpoint here will be average of these two values minus one uh, so so okay so minus let me write seven minus one over two the x values six plus zero over two okay so that gives us point s six over two is three and that is also three so we get a point here which is three three now let's find the slope b to c slope b to c will be six minus zero divided by seven minus minus one that makes it plus six over eight which is three over four correct All right so the equation of this line which is perpendicular to bc will be pt right so we'll say y minus the y value of this which is 3 equals to slope negative reciprocal minus 4 over 3 times x minus x value which is also 3 okay now to solve this equation let me multiply this side by 3 so we get 3 times y minus 3 equals to minus 4 times x minus 3 let's open this 3y minus 9 equals to minus 4x plus 12 bring them together so we get 3y plus 4x and take it to the right side equals to 21 okay so that is the equation which we get as a right bisector pt right second equation now to solve these two we have equation 1 and this is our equation 2. What can we do? Well, we can substitute the value of y from here to that place. So we can say, well, in this case, y equals to 4 minus x. So I'll substitute y 4 minus x here. So we can write this 3 times 4 minus x plus 4x equals to 21. And from here, we can find the value of x. Okay. So that gives us 12 minus 3x plus 4x equals to 21. And that gives us x equals to 21 minus 12. So, so that's the value, right? So 3 times 4 was 12. So we're taking it to the right side. So 12 minus 21. So when you take away from 11, if you take away 2, you get 9. So you get value of x as 9. Value of y will be what? value of y will be 4 minus x so 4 minus 9 which is minus 5 so for us the circumcenter will be what so the circumcenter in our case is going to be 9 minus 5 is that clear to you so that is how we can use the perpendicular lines and find the circumcenter of a triangle is that clear to you so I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.